What's going on guys? Jax the Bearded Hiker here. Beef tongue in the pressure cooker. Wait, 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 wait now. Don't click off yet. Just hear me out. Because what you may call bizarre, I call lip smacking goodness. Now a lot of you are probably turned off because, you know, it looks like a tongue. I get you. I feel you on that. But it's just a muscle. So if you actually want to get technical about it, it's really a muscular organ. Number two, it's not part of our national culinary identity, but I think you guys should step out of the box. Number one, this stuff, if cooked right, is so tender, it's meaty, it's cheap, and my personal favorite, the number four reason is, after you feed this to your kids and then you tell them what it is, the look on their face is priceless. That's the best part. Beef tongue or lingua in the pressure cooker. Let's get busy. All right, guys, here is the ingredients. And I want to give a special shout out to Laura Lai, who was kind enough to share her recipe with me. Okay, so what we have here obviously is the beef tongue. And I've lightly scored it all the way across just to let some of those nice juices penetrate into this meat. I have a whole head of a medium-sized garlic. I have a whole onion that has been quartered. I have two guajillo dried chilies here that I have lightly roasted. And here I have two tablespoons of peppercorn and two tablespoons of Himalayan sea salt. And what you're not gonna see is is a 50-50 blend of chicken broth and beef broth that we'll be using as our liquid. First thing is we're going to uh, put that beef tongue in here. Now this is a four pound beef tongue. Let's just throw our onions in here. In goes our guajillo chilies. Now put those chilies all the way in here. Like that, it's for some added flavor. I'm gonna throw in our garlic. And in goes our salt and pepper corns. And okay, you're probably gonna have a fill line in your pressure cooker. Make sure, put as much liquid as in here as you can without going over your maximum fill line. Hopefully we'll have enough to cover it. If Yeah, that's gonna be perfect. So I'm not gonna go over the fill line. I'm just gonna have enough to cover it. Okay, lastly, put the lid on it. Set the pressure to high and you're gonna pressure it for 50 minutes and then you're gonna let it come down naturally. All right, we just took this off. Everything looks great. Oh yeah, nice and tender. All right, so now what we need to do is we're gonna remove this and take the skin off the tongue. Okay, now it's time to get down and dirty with this. So it sh uh, the skin should peel off fairly easy. I've let it cool just a little bit and see how this skin just pulls pulls off. All right, we just want to take all the skin off here all the way around and then any fat that's left on it. But look at that. Just fall apart. Look at that. How tender. Okay, so we've moved outside. I'm going to fry. You see how I've cut these up? into just little uh, little rounds and strips. So now what I'm gonna do is heat my skillet up, getting it screaming hot, and I'm going to brown each piece. All right, that's what you want right there, just some uh, brown these things up. Then after you get them browned up, we're going to chop them up into uh, like little nuggets, like, I don't know, small as, small or as big as you want for uh, tacos. So there it is, folks. Tacos de lingua, or cow tongue. So that's it, chopped up. All right, so now what we're going to do is uh, we're going to taste this stuff in a corn tortilla. All right, here we go, guys. It's not as hot as I'd like it to be because we've been out here taking pictures of it. But, uh, okay, I hadn't tasted it yet at all. Hmm. That's bomb. Delicious. All right, guys. <clears throat> Beef tongue or lingua in the pressure cooker. Do it.